welcome to U School TV. We are now in round two of the great U School Song Contest for 2022. Be sure to come to the website on Friday morning, April 22nd, to find out what is going to happen next. In the meantime, let's take a look at a story that has a very cool U School connection. Take it away. Hi, young lady. What is your name? Grace. How old are you? Uh, 12. What are you going to sing? I'm singing in original. Really? Yes. What's it about? It's about me. <laughs> and other people at school behind you supporting you? Most of my friends don't really know I sing. So they don't know you're here? No. You believe that you can win? Well, I mean, miracles can happen, so possibly. <laughs> stage is yours. Good luck. those students today wasn't just about performing it was also about being inspired with a surprise appearance by Grace Vanderwall the 14 year old shot to stardom two years ago when she wowed the judges on America's Got Talent now she's touring with Imagine Dragons playing in Toronto tonight I love her song and it was just crazy seeing her walk in on her way out, Vanderwall stopped to sign ukuleles and other things. I said my ukulele's black, so can you sign my arm? While others got a selfie with the star. It was amazing. It was like the best experience ever. A day of music these young strummers shared and will likely never forget. Wow, those are great memories. Here's another story from the vault. One time, we went all the way to the Science Center and we played in space. Yeah. Take a look. You know, we're going to go to great lengths and great heights, of course, to make that connection between music and education here today. And there's no one really better to start that off with than our first performer, Melanie Doe. Holly and everybody at the Ontario Science Centre, I hear 
Your voice is bouncing off the moon. I hear you loud and clear. Welcome on board the International Space Station. Well, now let's go back into the vault for something I like to call licks, tricks, and favorite bits. These are some licks, tricks, and favorite bits from the vault. So have a look at this. I'm dressed up as Link from my favorite video game, Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I'm going to play the horse table. Hi guys, my name is Stacy, and today I'm going to be playing I Can See Clearly Now by Johnny Nash. And now let's remember one of our past song contest winners and what happened when her song got produced in the studio. Here's a little interview and the first time the song was ever heard at U School. This is a COVID uke day from a few years ago. Take it away, Vault. <laughs> I'd like to introduce to you Matea R. She's one of our top song contest winners. And I just have to say, Matea, you wrote five songs for the contest, wrote them yourself, and you really made it tough on the judges. And I'm so curious to know, how many songs have you written? I've written about 12 songs, like five since the contest. That's great. We're going to debut your new recording very soon. And I'm just curious, how does it feel to have your song recorded and uh, played for everyone here today? What's it feel like? It feels amazing. It's a dream come true. I've always wanted this to happen, so. Just before we listen to and play along with Matea and her new song, I want to show you something that you can try. So if you're in your first year and you know D chord like this, you're going to play the D chord like this when you do Matea's song. If you're in second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, tenth year, do this D chord. This is the one we always do for Jeremiah was. Okay, so do your D chord up here, third fret. It's just a C shape. It's like a C chord. Smush. Walk it up like this. And you're going to go up to the third fret. So that's where you're going to have your D chord. It's going to show you this D chord in the video, and that's for all the beginner students to know what chords. But I want you all, who I've just told to play this one, to play this one. Because I know that Matea wrote it that way, and it sounds really cool. So that's what she likes to do when she's written it and when she performs it. And you can do it too. And then everyone who's doing this D, can learn to do this one later, but for now you can do this D and that's going to work great. Okay, take it away Matea.
everybody. Don't forget to watch the website April 22nd to see what's going to happen next. See you next time right here on New School TV.